welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here at Long John Silver's in Forest City, North Carolina. It's been a few months since I've been at Long John Silver's here. The last thing I did was their uh, Alaskan cod sandwich. So I knew that I had to come down to Long John Silver's as soon as they brought something new, reintroduce something, do something Long John Silver's. God, I love fish, I love chicken, and I love Long John Silver's. And I remember now it's been several years since they came out with their Baja fish tacos. And I was actually just in here at Long John Silver's the other night and I saw that the Baja fish tacos were out again. And I had no idea, there's been no advertisements about it, but there's something new, something special about the Baja tacos. The old ones had a uh, lettuce for instance in them and I think they were using like half a strip of fish. And I was told now that the new Baja fish tacos from Long John Silver's have kind of been redone. I think the lettuce is gone, there's some changes. I'm gonna show you everything that's going on with it. With the new Baja fish tacos from Long John Silver's, I got it in a combo. And for a special treat, I got their pineapple cream cheese pie. Woo, check out that wax paper and french fries. Oh, smell them. Take a little sneak peek of that. Get in on a Long John Silver's French fry. Mm. They're obviously using the same oil as their fish. They're not batter dipping them. So maybe it's not battered fried, but they sure taste like it. Mm. But I'm not here to check out the French fries. I know you didn't click on this video to watch me eat French fries. So let's go ahead and get it started. The Baja fish tacos from Long John Silver's, you get two of them in a combo. With the drink in the side, it actually came out to, I think it was $5.99 for the combo. Of course, because of my good looks, I got the free coleslaw on the side. So thank you very much. Yeah, ladies, it can work both ways. So I see what the special slaw is they're using. It's just their regular coleslaw. <laughs> Maybe a spicy type of mayonnaise sauce there. Woo, that's gonna be a lot of mayonnaise. Of course, the coleslaw from LJS is already packed with mayo. It's mayonnaise base. Let me show you a closer look here and see what we're talking about. See the sauce? Looks like you got a lot of little spices going on in there. Now this is something different from the original Baja fish tacos. They're using a whole uh, fish filet. In the original ones that they brought back in 09, they were actually splitting the filet in half and only giving you what basically looked like an overgrown fish stick. Now they've topped it with a larger filet and they've added a larger price on it. First impressions of this are it's super gimmicky. Of course, Long John Silver's has to cater to American taste, so nothing about this is gonna look authentic as a normal Baja fish taco. Mm. Definitely mayonnaise heavy on this. Between the coleslaw and their uh, sauce, I'm dripping uh, mayonnaise here. And it's just coming out, sorta as I'm milking it. Milk that taco, milk that fish. I essentially could have made this at home. They've done nothing special or different with the fish. And I almost kind of wish that these were the original fish tacos from 09, just because they didn't include that coleslaw on there. Ugh. It's almost like a practical joke LJS is playing on us here. Let's break into this pineapple cheese pie real quick. I've never had this before, and I heard from a good friend that I needed to check this out. Hopefully they didn't add any coleslaw to this. Pineapple cream cheese pie made exclusively for Long John Silver's for LJS only, so I guess you can't get this in the store anywhere. It's $1.59 for the slice of pie. It's pineapple and cream cheese. It looks nice and thick, as you see. Bloop. That was a cream cheese plop. All right, looks like we got a graham cracker crust on top. Big old cream cheese filling, probably pineapple flavored. I have no idea if there's any real pineapple in here, but let's check it out. Obviously they're storing this in a freezer because the middle of it is like solid ice crystals. <laughs> it's pretty cold, which is good. That's what the pie looks like. Graham cracker crust on the bottom. Graham cracker crumble on the top. Cream cheese filling. Forget the fork. Mm. I know it's hard to see, but it is rock solid right in the middle here, like ice cream. So taking a bite of this is, uh, it's icy and it's crystally, 
but it's actually not that bad. Probably be good thawed out maybe a little bit longer. You can see how it kind of breaks off in chunks like that. It's super cold in the middle. Mm. Yeah, it's like solid ice crystals. The taste of this though, however, is really fantastic. This was a great suggestion for me to check out. I'd go ahead and rate this, uh, the little pie slice here, probably like a six, pretty decent little piece of pie. Yeah, not bad. Now with foresight in mind, I actually asked him to make my second taco without any of the slaw in the middle. This one should already have it off of it. It already feels a little bit smaller. This should just be the filet and just the sauce because I want to try it without the coleslaw. That coleslaw on it is, is a bit odd, a bit particular. If you're curious, there's the sauce by itself. Obviously I couldn't show this on the last one because it had the coleslaw in it. Let's try it like this. First bite, big bite on the Redemption Baja Fish Taco here from LJS. Of course, this isn't how it would come. If you were to order it, you'd have to get it with a slaw taken off. But let's try this, because I know some of you watching right now are sitting here thinking, God, without the slaw, that might've been pretty good. Well, here it is. Tons of sauce once again. With the absence of the coleslaw and that extra mayonnaise, you're definitely getting more of a fish taste to it that isn't all covered up. You can taste a little more of the crunch of the fish, of course. The sauce by itself isn't unpleasant. This, of course, is a pre-mixed sauce they're using. You can see some of the colors of the peppers in there. I see a little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of black, maybe. It's almost like a Southwest ranch flavor. It certainly is the consistency of like a salad dressing. I would almost put it on par if you were to take like Hidden Valley Ranch and mix it with sriracha. That's almost the taste you're getting here if you can get an idea of that. But it does have more of a ranch flavor coming through now than it did mayonnaise. And that's of course because I took the coleslaw off this one. Really be able to taste the sauce a little bit more. Let's go on another bite of this. It's just really weird. There's just something about the taste of it that just doesn't go between the flour tortilla and the Long John Silver's fish filet and like that ranch sriracha dressing. I don't know that I like it either way, to be honest with you, for the Long John Silver's new Baja fish tacos. Well, I guess they are new because it is a redesign of their original. This is definitely not like the original Baja fish tacos if you tried them at 09. Honestly, truthfully, I'm gonna have to give these a three. No matter which way I serve it, whether it be with the coleslaw on it, which is the way that they're advertising it, or without the coleslaw to get rid of a lot of that effect, they both taste like chum. And I apologize to anybody who's offended by this being called a Baja fish taco. I lived in the West Coast. I know what Baja fish tacos are like. I know how they're made. I know how they're eaten. This is not a Baja fish taco. Out in the Midwest, this might be something you find at Johnny's Diner where they call it a Baja fish taco. But I sort of expected LJS to be a little more on the hook with this and be able to realize what they're putting together. The fact that a company like LJS comes out with new things so infrequently, you almost wish that all other things would be bangers in the streets. But as always, thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Bye everybody. Uh, I do it for you guys. It's a three. They both taste like absolute ass.